Well, day four of our Central American trip began in Nicaragua, by far one of the poorest countries in the region. But the city of Esteli, near the Honduran border, is home to nearly all of Nicaragua's tobacco production. And as Twyla's A.J. Sabine found out, the rich soil in Esteli makes that region produce some of the best cigars in the world. In the sorting room of A.J. Fernandez Cigars, busy fingers sort and distem thousands of fragrant tobacco leaves. Esteli is known the world over for its flavorful tobacco. These coffee-colored leaves generate a major source of employment in this region. Notably, Fernandez employs more than 400 people in this one factory. Production manager Enrique Somoza explains that the Esteli region is a shining jewel of the tobacco industry. Nicaragua is one of the uh, diamonds of the tobacco industry. It, particularly here in Esteli, out of all of the valleys that we have here, this area, Esteli, lives off of tobacco. Everything that we have centers around the tobacco business. Cloud-capped hills surround the Jalapa Valley, where tobacco flourishes in the black, fertile soil of this region. Tobacco is the agricultural tradition here. The plow and yoke prevail as you get a sense that tobacco cultivation remains unchanged since the days of Columbus. Here in uh, Nicaragua, when you buy uh, a box of Nicaraguan cigars, it says right on the box, Hecho y Mano, which means made by hand. But what you may not realize is, it's even grown by hand. My friend Silvio here is making a, a, a plow out of local wood and an old disc. Our tour guide, Victor, through an interpreter, explains to our leadership class how this tobacco will be used for a specific type of cigar, known as the Habano, which, as you may have already guessed, originated in Havana, Cuba. Here at the Esteli Tobacco Company, tobacco plants begin their life as small seedlings in greenhouses. About three months later, plants about this tall are transplanted into a lush green field like this one. And if you've never felt tobacco leaves before, they have the consistency of leather. Across the road, farmhands place tobacco seedlings one by one into the rich soil of this fertile valley. From field to factory, it takes about four months. Back at the factory, bundles of tobacco continue on their path to your humidor in the curing room, where workers rotate tobacco leaves from top to bottom and from outside to inside. Fernandez creates blends from imported tobaccos from around the world, including Honduras, Ecuador, and the Dominican Republic. Welcome to the Fernandez production room, where the raw tobacco takes its final shape as a cigar. First, this gentleman is called a bunchero, so a buncher. And what he'll do is he'll take the various tobacco leaves and make a blend and then bunch them on this leather strap. Once they're shaped and trimmed, they go into this tray of tin where they're pressed for the day. After that, they're wrapped into this familiar shape. You can't look away while these cigar rollers perfect more than 250,000 cigars per week. Fernandez produces more than six different lines of cigars for customers around the world. Somoza says it's a dedication to traditional cigar making techniques that distinguish a Fernandez cigar. Our passion in making cigars, our dedication to providing a quality product for our consumers, and as you viewed today, the fermentation process and the quality of the tobaccos that we utilize. Cigars must age for about 45 days after wrapping. Each cigar is checked by hand, of course, before they are labeled and boxed for shipping. It's a labor-intensive process, but Samosa says after 10 years, business is well, smoking. So Enrique, what do you think is, uh, lies in the future for uh, AJ Fernandez Tobacalera? A lot of new, exciting projects. This year's crop seems to be a crop where there's gonna be a lot of rich flavors found in the tobacco that we're growing. And we look forward to uh, continue to work with not only Nicaragua tobacco, but tobaccos throughout the world to provide the consumer with uh, new flavors, uh, new products. Uh, and I'm excited for what we're going to bring to the market this year. According to ProNicaragua.org, the tobacco industry there generates more than 11,000 direct jobs. And the country exports nearly $53 million in cigars right here to the United States, most of which is grown right there in Esteli. 
And AJ, I am in possession of a box of cigars given to you by the production manager at AJ Fernandez. And when we first got this box of cigars, we had intended to give it away as a prize during Kristen's Ag Minute, but I have a sneaking suspicion that there's a little more quality control that needs to be done with these cigars. Uh, just uh, one or two or, or 20, but, but, but there is, there is a, a, an upside to the quality control process. If you folks there at home would like to sample some fresh Nicaraguan cigars on your own, our very own Kristen Oaks will show you how to get some in just a few minutes. We will right after the Ag Minute, and you can take those home along with some other great prizes that we have this week. AJ Sabine, good story, thanks.